In Office 365, you have the option to open up the Exchange PowerShell in case you would like to make PowerShell changes through Exchange. So um, I've gone ahead and copied and pasted in the commands I'm going to use into the description. So make sure you use those. And the first thing we want to do is open up PowerShell as the administrator. So you can do a search for PowerShell, right click on it and choose Run as Administrator. All right, after that, we want to set the execution policy to Remote Signed. Now, this isn't uh, necessary in all cases but it doesn't hurt to go ahead and set this up. We'll hit enter, and we'll hit A for yes to all. And now that's done. Now, if you get an error here, it means that you did not open PowerShell as an administrator. So make sure this says administrator at the top. All right, so the next thing we want to do is to open up another command, and that's the user get credential. All right, so now it's prompting us for a username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my username for my administrator on Office 365. And now it says my credential is there. So we're good. If I made a mistake there, you get an error. Okay, so here's the next command. This one's a, little, a lot longer, so you definitely want to copy this one. And that is we're creating a new PowerShell session. Now, you don't have to do any type of configuration here. You don't have to make any changes to the command. It is just fine the way it is, so we'll go ahead and click Enter. And now we're going to wait a few seconds for this to complete. And that's done. All right, one more command to go. And that is import PowerShell session. And you can see that it's connecting. Now, if you have a slow connection, this could take a little while. But if you have a fast one like me, it won't take too long. All right. And there it is. We are now in PowerShell connected to Office 365. Now, when you're done, you want to make sure that you do one more command. Otherwise, you may not be able to get back in next time. And that is you want to remove the PS session. So you've got to run that when you're done. Don't just click the X at the top, or you may run out of sessions that you can log into. All right, so just to prove that we are in where we say we are, we're just going to go ahead and type a command get dash mailbox. And we can see the list of all the mailboxes we have in Office 365. So it's not very many of them, but it just shows you that we are definitely in Office 365 and our Exchange PowerShell. So that's how you log in. And don't forget, when you're all done, you want to log out.